Welcome to the Microprocessor and Microcontroller Lectures Series. Here we are going to write the assembly language program for divide 32 bit data by 16 bit data. What is our problem? Write the assembly language program to divide 32 bit data by 16 bit data. First we are going to analyze our problem. To perform the division in 8086 processor, the 32 bit divide end should be stored in AX and DX register. That means the lower bar in AX and upper bar in DX. The 16 bit device can be stored in this register or memory location. After the division, the quotient will be in AX register and remainder will be in DX register. This is our problem analysis. In this example, we are going to take this memory location is contained the value of that means 1100 is contained the value of 0A and 1101 is contained the value of 58 and 1102 is contained the value of C2 and 1103 is contained the value of 71. It is a dividend. Okay. Next, the divisor is 1104 is contained the value of F2 and 1105 is contained the value of F6. Okay, this divided is 32 bit. This divided is 32 bit and divisor is 16 bit. Now we are going to perform the division in between the two number. The result is the quotient can be stored in this 1106 and 1107 and the remainder can be stored in 1108 and 1107. Nine. In this example, the quotient can be stored in this AAX register. This value can be moved into the particular memory location. The remainder value is present in this DX register. That value is moved into the particular memory location. Okay, clear. Now we are moving to the algorithm. First, load the address of data in SI register. Next, get the lower bar of divided in AX register. For what is the meaning of that one? The lower bar, that means lower 16 bit bar is loaded into the AX register. Next, get the upper word of divided in DX register. That means upper 16 bit value is moved into the DX register. After that, we are going to perform the division in between the AX. That means uh, we are going to perform the division in between the divided and divisor. The result can be stored in this. That means the quotient value is stored in this AX register and remainder value is stored in this DX register. Finally, the AX register and DX register value is moved into the particular memory location. This is our flow chart. Get the lower bar of dividend in AX register. Get the upper bar of dividend in DX register. The dividend AX and DX with BX register. Next, we are going to perform the divide of AX and B DX with BX register value. The BX is containing the value of divisor. Thus, the save the quotient in AX and remainder in DX. Finally, this AX and DX value is moved into the particular memory location. Okay, this is our program. First, initially, we are going to initializing the our starting address. This is our starting address. This is 1100 is a starting address. This star value is 1100 is moved into the SI register value. This SI, this SI memory location, this SI, that means the 1100 and 1101 is contain the value of lower word of dividend. Okay, lower word of divide and this value is moved into the particular memory uh, this value is moved into the ax register and si plus 2 si plus 2 means 1102 and 1103 is contained in the higher word of the dividend it is moved into the dx register it is moved into the bx register next 1104 and 1105 is containing the divisor the divisor value is moved into the bx Okay, now we are going to perform the division of BX. What is the meaning of the division of BX? We are going to perform the AX and DX value can be divided by the BX register, can be divided by the BX register. The result is quotient and quotient and reminder. Quotient value can be stored in this 1106 and 1107. Okay, the remainder value can be stored in 1108 and 1108. 9. Yeah. After the division, the quotient value is present in this AX register and remainder value is present in the DX register. This AX value is moved into the, this particular memory location and remainder value is moved into the particular memory location. Finally, terminate the program. Now, we are going to execute this program by using this 8086 emulator. Okay. We are going to execute step by step. Initially, we are going to update our memory. In this memory address, starting memory address is the 1100 this 1100 is containing the value of 0 a and 1101 is containing the value of 58 next 1102 is containing the value of c2 1103 is containing the value of 71 this is the divided 
next we are going to update the divisor 1104 is contain the value of f2 is the divisor and 1105 is the another divisor f6 now we are going to update our memory as we are going to execute step by step first the si value that means 1100 and 1101 value can be move into the ax okay this is ax 558 and 0a next 1102 and 1103 values move into the dx register this is the dx register now bx register value dx register value 1104 and 1105 values move into the bx register bx re register now we are going to perform the division operation in between the ax dx by bx the result can be stored in this ax and dx register the result can be stored in this ax and dx register the quotient value is stored in this ax register and the remainder value can be stored in this dx register this ax register is move into the 1106 memory location and dx register value is move into the 1108 memory location 1108 memory location this is our division program thank you